Coming in when it comes to the Gyanwapi legal tussle, ladies and gentlemen, the hearing has begun in the Supreme Court. The matter is being heard by a bench headed by Chief Justice of India, D.Y. Chandrachur. The Chief Justice of India says that it's an interlocutory order. Why should any interference happen at this stage? The Chief Justice of India has said every interlocutory order cannot be challenged on the same ground. Now, Solicitor General Tushar Mehta is now taking the court through how the survey would be conducted. Remember, the Archaeological Survey of India has said there will be no excavation and scientific technology and scientific methods will be used to focus on what is the character of the entire site. There won't be there will not be any excavation which could damage the Gyanwapi complex. This was a concern that was raised by the Muslim side. But the ASI has made it clear in a sworn affidavit to the court saying that every uh, every action that will be taken for this survey will be scientific in nature. There will be no excavation, ground penetrating radar and other technologies will be used to ascertain the character of the entire site. I'm joined by my colleague Ananya Bhatnaga who's tracking all the developments when it comes to the legal tussle of the Gyanwapi complex. Ananya, over to you. Well, definitely the Muslim side, uh, senior advocate Josefa Ahmadi is trying to make every argument possible uh, to in fact say this particular survey, but the Supreme Court does not seem very inclined to do so today. Uh, it is saying that, you know, uh, not every interlocutory order, that is uh, interim order, cannot be challenged uh, on the same ground. Uh, but, uh, Mr. Uh, Josefa Ahmadi was actually on the ground of Places of Worship Act and altering of the religious characteristic of a particular, uh, you know, religious place. Uh, and uh, he said that, you know, if at all uh, there is a, a survey, way the, the religious character would be hindered with and and the Supreme Court was not in the way of it uh, is is doesn't seem to be in the way of it the Solicitor General then came in uh, saying that you know no kind of a damage would be caused to uh, in fact the structure of the Gyanwapi and uh, uh, there would be not even a brick that would actually be entailed or, or be you know hindered with is what the Solicitor General is saying the arguments are still continuing before uh, in fact the Chief Justice of India's bench and uh, we'll still wait for the final orders to come in from the topmost of the country, whether or not it's staying that particular order is something that we'll just get to know in a few minutes from now. Whether the survey would continue or not is something that the Supreme Court will completely give an answer to today in a clear yes or a clear no. But uh, what, what it seems like from the arguments that are going on, uh, there might not be a stay, but however, certain direction or certain tweaking could actually take place as to how the survey has to be conducted. Ayushman. Right, but at the same time, Ananya, as you were also pointing out, the ASI has said that all scientific methods will be used and no excavation will be done. There won't be any damage to the site. All uh, ground penetrating radar and other techniques will be used to ascertain the character of the site. But the, mus but the masjid side has pointed out the sensitivity argument when it comes to this entire survey. Take us through that. Uh, well, definitely, Ashman, I will take you through that. But first, uh, what Justice J.B. Pardiwala is actually saying at this right point of time is that, see, uh, see it this way. Your point is that why take this survey when the suit itself is not maintainable? You are supposed uh, uh, to every survey itself. This survey will be in form of a report. Tomorrow, if you succeed on the maintainability, it will just be a piece of paper. So basically, what Justice Pardiwala is uh, trying to say and he has questioned that are we at a stage when uh, a pre a irreparable damage would be caused? He questions. So, so what Mr. Pardewala, Justice J.B. Pardewala, who is one of the judges on the bench is basically trying to say is that uh, what harm would a survey actually cause? He is trying to understand it from Mr. Ahmadi that you know what kind of a harm would it cause if at all a survey actually goes on it. At the end of the day, uh, you know, uh, finally a committee report, it is a report that would be there and if at all the Muslim side succeeds that the suit is not maintainable itself, then the complete thing falls on the ground, then the survey would have no value, it would just be a report. Uh, is what uh, Justice J.B. Pardewala is trying to say, but uh, the arguments are still going on and, and as you were pointing it out, you know, Aishman, uh, the Archaeological Survey of India is very, very categorically stated before the Allahabad High Court and now the Solicitor General of India, Mr. Tushar Mehta, also appearing on behalf of the Union of India and the Archaeological Survey of India has clearly contended that, you know, this is something that would not harm the structure of the Gyanwapi Mosque and uh, will, in fact, uh, uh, be not touching even a single stone there on that particular ground. So we'll have to wait for the final orders to come in. The exchange is still going on. We'll uh, wait and see as to what is happening uh, at the Supreme Court and what, what is the court actually trying to say at this particular point of time. Mr. Ahmadi is still continuing with his argument, clearly, uh, you know, saying that the, the sum and substance of the order is that there existed a structure below that 
that hundreds of years ago my submission is that going back in the past is precisely what was sought to be injuncted by the places of worship act so basically he's trying to say that you know going back to the past is something that the places of worship act prohibits it's uh, the, basically the pro uh, places of worship act says that whatever is the religious characteristic of a political place at 1947 was except for the ayodhya case because the ayodhya case was before uh, in fact the court even before 1947 and that's the reason why uh, section 5 of the places of worship act actually ex includes uh, the ayodhya uh, babri masjid dispute from uh, the places of worship act so that does not apply in fact to the places of worship act and that's the clear reason why mr ahmed is constantly trying to argue that you know this is something that should not be done it would alter the religious characteristic of this particular place of worship and we'll have to wait for the final orders to actually come in right but when it comes to the hindu side at the same time uh, ananya take us through their arguments when it comes to countering these uh, uh, these arguments surrounding the places of worship act and at the same time i think that's the main point that the masjid side is raising that you are affecting the sensibilities of muslims by going through the survey but the courts and even the hindu side has made it very clear that to get to the truth when it comes to the complete religious character of this place that is the need of the hour Well, uh, definitely, you know, Hindu side is yet to argue before the topmost court of the country. But uh, what Mr. Ahmedi, at this point of time, is saying that in the other SLP related to the fountain head, undoubtedly, uh, the solicitor general told your lordship that he was concerned about the carbon dating, etc. But the application. was for scientific survey so what he is trying to say is that you know in the other slp as well uh, that is the other petition as well before the court already uh, the carbon dating might uh, damage the structure but uh, he is constantly trying to persuade the court that you know a survey should not take place at this site but also we have to understand that the survey has been going on since 7 in the morning it's almost uh, you know 3 uh, 2 um, uh, Uh, here and and we'll have to wait as to if at all the survey would be allowed to continue or whether the supreme court would be ordering in the favor of the muslim side or would be making certain tweaks uh, with this particular survey so we'll have to wait and watch for that but the argument still continue at this point of time before the top most court of the country this is a bench headed by chief justice of india dr justice dhananjay ashwant chanchchud also comprising just jb padiwala and justice manoj mishra who is hearing this particular case and uh, the muslim side is currently arguing the solicitor general also gave a uh, view as to how the survey has to be conducted absolutely and the asi has made it very clear that scientific techniques will be used there will be no excavation at the site and ground penetrating radar and other scientific techniques will be used to figure out what is the exact a characteristic of this entire gyanwapi site because the muslim the hindu side excuse me uh, says that a temple was raised to build a mosque but the muslim side makes it very clear that you are uh, tampering with the sentiments of muslims at the same time as for the places of worship act its religious character does not matter because of what happened in 1947 because that is the line that the places of worship act uh, you know kind of like sets in place but ananya at the same time as we were pointing out this entire sensitivity argument that is coming in from the muslim side this is something that they are saying will have far reaching impacts in other places across the country and that is why any survey that could hamper that is the argument from the masjid side that could hamper the religious characteristic of that of this place is something that should be avoided right we'll try to uh, reconnect with ananya over there we're getting a piece of breaking news